All right, so for the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of speculation about what the Saiyan Day Celebration Unit on both Global and JP for this year would be. And by the way, the celebration does start on March 18th, which is in roughly five days from now. And uh, we got people like Toon Rami saying that he wants a King Vegeta, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Um, there's also people saying maybe a Kid Goku, which I also really liked because we don't really have a great Kid Goku unit in the game right now. The last one we got was, I guess, the end Dokkan Fest one, and he's really outdated at this point. So I feel like Kid Goku does deserve a very good unit. And uh, there's also some speculation about maybe some kind of joint forces unit like a Bardock and Gine or Vegeta and Kaba, or, you know, another combination of the Universe 6 girls. Or something like that right but now it seems like that question has been answered and uh, I want to be extra clear when I say that this is not official okay it's not a hundred percent confirmed but it's very likely considering that the source we're getting this information from this leak from is highly respected and uh, just has a great track record of being accurate in the past and of course this source is none other than I seriously on Twitter. So uh, a few hours ago, I seriously tweeted this one single letter, which got people extremely excited. And that letter is just M. Now, I think most people, most Dragon Ball fans know exactly who he's referring to with this letter. But I guess in theory, it could be something like Mr. Popo or Moro from the Dragon Ball Super manga, which would be awesome, but of course they're not Saiyans. Or Marin, uh, Krillin Thotter, right? That's also a possibility. But I think the most likely scenario is he's trying to tell us that this year, for the Saiyan Day unit, we're gonna be getting a brand new Majin Vegeta. So once again, not confirmed, but very likely that we will be getting Majin Vegeta for Saiyan Day this year, and he was probably like, I would say number two on my list. I think Kid Goku was still a little bit higher, but I am more than happy with this. I mean, Majin Vegeta is still, to this day, my favorite form of Vegeta, even more so than, you know, SSBE or Super Saiyan God. I think Super Saiyan God is a close second, actually, but yeah, no, Majin Vegeta is awesome. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't love, you know, this form of Vegeta, so it's uh, definitely a fan favorite, and I would expect most people to be pretty happy about it. I know some people are a little bit disappointed just because it's not what they were hoping for, but it makes sense to me at the same time just because we are going to be getting the uh, AGL SSB Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening during the same day celebration, right? So. You know, it would kind of fit the theme of at least Vegeta for Saiyan Day this year. So there you go, Majin Vegeta incoming. And as far as the ones we have in the game right now, I mean, there's not that many. We have the Fizz one, who's technically free to play. We have the SDR one, who's super, super old. The Tech one is fairly old as well, although still pretty usable, but he's not that impressive anymore. Oh, oh we also have the Tech one, the... The easy A one forgot about him. Okay, so he's also okay. And then the uh, LR one, of course, got an Extreme Z Awakening recently as well. And he's good, but I don't think he's gonna age the best. So it's gonna be nice to have a Majin Vegeta that's gonna have some staying power, most likely. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about it, man. I'm happy about this turn of events. Once again, <laughs> I just wanna be super clear if it ends up not being Majin Vegeta, don't come here and call me a liar because, you know, nothing is confirmed until we see it from Bandai slash Akatsuki themselves, right? Until we see it in the Toka Now program or see it as a in-game news reveal or whatever. But uh, it's just really likely that Majin Vegeta is coming up soon. And now it makes sense actually why they didn't revamp the 18 key super for the LR Majin Vegeta and only changed the 12 key super because they were probably saving a you know really nice looking 
final explosion animation for this new Majin Vegeta that uh, they've had in the works for some time now, right? So uh, there you have it, guys. Very quick video. Not much else to talk about except for the fact that Majin Vegeta is coming. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Are you happy about it because you really like Majin Vegeta like most of us? Or are you maybe somewhat disappointed just because you're hoping for someone else? Like I said, I have no complaints. I think this is a great outcome and uh, I can't wait to see what this guy does, what his animations look like. I have some very, very high expectations for his animations considering they didn't rework the uh, LR Majin Vegeta 18 key, so it's gotta be something good, you know? So, anyways, um, that's gonna do it for today's video. The Dokkan Now program should be dropping in like two or three days from now, and we will definitely try to be live on the channel for a live reaction with everyone. Maybe get a few guests on the channel as well, like Toonrami or um, Jinro, or who knows? We'll see. Um, but for now, that is all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.